Hello, gorgeous soul. Welcome to your July horoscope. Oh my goodness, it is a pivotal, extremely important month for our future. And that is because the North and South nodes are changing sign. Now the North node has been in stable Taurus. We've been looking at, for security. We've wanted to lay foundations. We've been examining the abundance in our life and heading towards that. And now the North node is going into fiery and independent Aries. So we're like, rah, I want to express my independence individuality. I want to forge ahead with my passion. Now the south node, which is where we're coming from, is going into Libra. It was in Scorpio, which is all about letting go of our obsessions. And it's now in Libra. And that's about balance and injustices. We may be looking back to some injustices in our lives. We may want to find our balance, but in a new way, which fundamentally supports us as individuals. So it's about us, and me and finding the balance between those two, but fundamentally going towards our unique soul. Also this month, we have Venus, the planet of love in Leo, which has been in for some time, going retrograde, going backwards. We're finding ourselves, we're finding our passion, we're finding our pride and our generosity of spirit. It is a big old month. Here's your monthly astrology. Hi, Gemini. This is an exciting month for you. All sorts of fabulous things can happen. And it kicks off right at the beginning of the month where Mercury, your ruler, is supremely powerful on the first and also sextiles Jupiter, the planet of good fortune. Look out for a coincidence, a synchronicity and something magical that happens at the beginning of the month. Then we have a full moon and it's in your power zone. How powerful do you feel or do you feel powerless? Has it been something you've been kind of pushing under the surface? Full moons always bring up what's hidden in our unconscious and our subconscious. So there is all sorts of feelings rising to the surface. And you might find yourself going, oh my God, this is the answer to how I can step into my power and move forward. If you're feeling sensitive and you're not dealing with power issues, you might find yourself a little bit overwhelmed or sensitive and vulnerable, but it is an opportunity. It's a gateway for you to step into your power. Watch out for feelings of obsession, jealousy, or any extreme emotion, because it's primal. Everything to do with life, death, rebirth, sex, obsession, and money could come up with that full moon. Also, if there's a situation involving somebody and money or a power imbalance with money, you're always paying the bill, or you feel that you're the one always providing, you might decide to put a stop to that. Certainly it will be coming to the surface. Now, Mercury is sextile Uranus, the planet of the unpredictable on the 7th of July. So expect lots of interesting conversations, genius ideas, or strange, again, synchronicities where you bump into someone, it's kind of bizarre coincidence, but it has a deeper meaning. Mercury is also trying retrograde Neptune. Perhaps an opportunity from your past or something you wanted to do in the past and didn't do comes into play. Mars enters Virgo on the 10th and then the next day Mercury enters Leo. You're feeling that you want to really sort of build foundations. You might like, you're quite feeling quite like you want to be physically involved in doing things around your home. So you might want to decorate, really get stuck into some gardening if you've got a garden or even just getting out in nature. If there's any problems with your family, you might find yourself a little bit more argumentative than usual. Certainly you're not afraid to say what you feel in terms of any disputes in your home and family, and that can involve flatmates as well. Uh, but you, you're really clever this month. All of your ideas are really well formed. You're able to communicate really clearly. So take advantage of that. The new moon on the 17th, and actually at various points, you're thinking, what makes me feel secure? What makes me feel, you know, what foundations do I want to build? And how can I attract more abundance into my life? And there should be answers to that question. Now, we then have um, something very significant, and that is that the North Node is shifting signs. And it brings us a gift because it's about our future. And for you, you might find yourself bumping into or experiencing all sorts of collaborations that in the past weren't possible or you didn't think about them or 
you know, it's surprising. Again, it might involve synchronicity, but you you are stronger joining forces with people now. And definitely don't be a hermit for the next 18 months until January 2025. It's time to really mix with people, join forces with people, network with people. Also, if you want to publish something, there's never been a better time. If you want to put your work out there into the world, it should be received in a way that's meant to be. So 100% do that. If there's anything that you want to put out there or you want to reach people, now is the time. And also people will be drawn to you. The right people, the right set of people are coming your way. It's very, very powerful. But don't forget, we also have Venus going retrograde. And it's in your communication zone. So people you communicated with in the past may come back in. And or even you might an ex-lover may get, get in touch, email you, text you, whatever. Um, think carefully before going down that road. But certainly ideas from the past that maybe you weren't sure that maybe you were in love with an idea or a project and then you didn't take it further. You should find the right people now to get on with that and do it. Uh, later on, when Mercury enters Virgo, you will be thinking about sorting things out in your home. That's, that is on your mind quite a lot. But fundamentally, it's about your ideas, putting yourself out there and building on any of the structures or securities that you've started to already. Powerful times, my darling. Take care and I'll speak to you soon. So why do we at Michelle Knight give you a five minute, no questions asked guarantee? Well, our psychics are some of the very best in the world. They are handpicked. They have five rigorous test readings, the final one with me, and I require very detailed information, things they couldn't possibly know just by looking at Google or social media. We want you to be totally blown away by your reading to feel that you've chosen a psychic who you can bond with, who gets you and gives you such specific information, you feel completely reassured. If this doesn't happen within the first five minutes, don't be shy, just put down the phone and your minutes will be topped up or refunded. Your reading should be uplifting, full of clarity and advice, and leave you empowered to make the right decisions for you. We want Michelle Knight to be your spiritual home.